Corporation. This is your February the 10th, 2016, Five Things You Need to Know. This is our 20th edition of Five Things You Need to Know. We film this every month. Today I'm joined by Hannah Reeser. She's behind the computer doing all kinds of fancy stuff. We're in the Husky newsroom right now, and they've got green screens behind me, lights around me. I even got a teleprompter. This is awesome. So here's number one. Five things you need to know. This month I got three awesome emails. So the first one says this. So in sociology class, my students are administering surveys to a variety of ages about American values. This goes along with our unit on culture. One student went over to his great grandmother's house to give her the survey. She's 81. She asked him if it would be okay for her to write a letter to the class about how she thinks values have changed. I now have in my possession a beautiful handwritten letter. Her letter covers her thoughts and memories about the economy and prayer in school. In it, she talks about love, respect, and family. Now my student has a beautiful handwritten letter as a keepsake. So the moral of the story is sometimes you think you're just presenting a little lesson or giving a little assignment, but you never know. The doors might open. So keep fighting for the good fight. You are making a difference. From Robin Hildebrand, Hamilton Heights High School. Great email. Love it. Number two came from a, somebody I don't know. This is from Allison Lawson. She sent this um, as a parent to our wrestling coach at the middle school, Terry Reed. He, she said, wrestling, good morning. I want to thank you so much for being such an awesome coach. You are teaching the boys more than wrestling. They are learning how to be good men through sportsmanship. Thank you. There are a couple of adults not being mature as they should have been last night. Unfortunately, I'm sure that's pretty common. And, and But they were making fun of some of the kids. But tell the boys how proud I am as a parent watching them grow and learn from this sport. Also, please tell Trevor he rocked it. Even though he lost the match, I heard a rumor and all kinds of other really neat stuff. She's telling Mr. Uh, Reed that it'll be missed. Great to hear that from parents, um, giving praise to the coaches. It wasn't about winning or losing, it was about growing as an athlete. Really cool. This one's from a parent who's from Elwood. Say, good morning, I'm the mother of one of Elwood's sixth grade basketball team members, a kid named Chance. I write it. I wanted to write you a short little something to inform you and thank you for the absolute class act you said at our school last night. See, our teams have met already this season in a tournament. We, we've lost pretty bad to Hampton Heights already. So last night, your sixth grade team didn't start their starters. In fact, the starters didn't even take the warm-up shirts off the entire night. But they cheer their teammates on, and I'm very proud of witnessed that last night. Again, thank you for last night and for the team that you sent to us. And they were just a joy to watch our boys to loss, but they had fun doing it for a change. And that's from a parent in Elwood. Great job, sixth grade coaches. Great job, sixth grade kids. It's the start of a great foundation for growing through sports. So number two, um, sportsmanship on display. If you came to the Tipton Hampton Heights basketball game, the boys basketball game a couple weeks ago, you saw something really cool. Uh, Mr. Ogden set it up every before every game. Our, our at both of our boys' varsity and our girls' varsity, they read the sportsmanship creed. But the Tipton rivalry is a pretty big deal. Um, we love to beat Tipton. I, I think Tipton may love to beat us even more. So it's a pretty heated rivalry. So before that game, Mr. Ockton took not only our high school junior, uh, Cameron Lutz, and Tipton's best player, a kid named Mason Dagenkolb, who was really good. Uh, and he encouraged those fans to listen as both those guys read the sportsmanship creed. And really, you could hear a, a dime drop in, in the house. It was really cool to hear that. And it really impacted the way the adults, because in that creed it talks about everybody has got a role. Players should play, coaches should coach, referees should referee, and parents and fans should cheer on the team. That's your job, not the other one. So it was really cool to see that. Way to go, Mr. Ogden, for setting that up. We also hosted the girls' sectional um, a couple weeks ago. Mr. Ogden and, and Mrs. Moffitt did a great job um, doing that and, and hosting that. So I'm really proud of them. Number three, um, we had Huskies at the State House. Mrs. Shields is our Spanish teacher, and she took a couple students um, down to the State House to speak about a bill that she was working on called Workplace Spanish. She also had a parent, um, Nick Bontrager, who helped get somebody from KeyBank to come down and talk about that. So it was really cool for her to go down to the, uh, uh, the State Department in the State House. Mr. Cook is our representative. Mr. Cook is the former superintendent in Hamilton Heights. So we're really proud of Mrs. Shields for going down there. She took two students with her, and they did a great job of representing our school, and we're really proud of them for doing that. Uh, number four, 
Uh, we are partnering now through Husky TV with Hamilton County TV. So when you watch this at the bottom of the home page on our website, you'll click that link, but you're actually going to Noblesville to watch it because it's on uh, Hamilton County TV. And so they've helped us with some technology stuff and how to stream it and all kinds of really cool stuff. So Hamilton County TV is working with Husky TV and Husky News. And it's really a model that we learned from Noblesville schools, but a lot of the other county schools have seen us do it now, and they're kind of copying us a little bit. So it's really cool. Thank you to uh, Hamilton County TV for all their support. If you go to www.huskytv1.com, you can see all kinds. You can see the daily Husky news stuff that they're doing, uh, feature stories that they're doing. These guys are really talented. So pretty, pretty cool stuff. Um, number five, I want to show you some really cool stuff that we do at our high school. A couple of our, our, of our teachers, Mr. Fisher, Mr. Hedges, teaches, teach some pretty unique classes. Mr. Fisher works with the photography class. Mr. Hedges does all kinds of really cool art, art classes. So some of these kids you'll see. Uh, Chrissy Johnson really did a really cool dragon thing. Uh, Sarah Sight made this awesome ceramic bowl. Katie Feltner made a very cool plate. So um, we'll put those up on the screen for you to enjoy. And then the photography class, Mr. Fisher works with these kids and they do lines and circles and frames and all kinds of really fantastic pictures. Some of those pictures are appearing now in the Hamilton County Reporter on a weekly basis. So those are five things you need to know about Hamilton High School Corporation. Don't forget on February 25th, on Thursday, here at the high school, we have a reconfiguration meeting. The entire community is invited. Those are the, that's the time where you hear about the possible going from four buildings to three buildings, how much it would cost, whether it would work, whether it's a good idea, whether it's a bad idea. We want community input for that. My name is Jerry Carrollwood. It is a great time to be a husband.